Hi everyone, welcome to Southern Delight. This is Debbie here, and um, come on in. I wanna show you my uh, latest makeover. This happens to be my washroom area, or mudroom as they used to call it. I am so proud of this little area, and I'm gonna stick some inserts in here so you can actually see what this room looked like before I transformed it. I've spent about two weekends. I guess you could say I've got maybe 20 hours. Maybe not quite 20 hours in this project. But um, I spent two weekends transforming this room. And as you can see. And then now I'm going to show you the before picture. Now we did this project was done in um, sections because we purchased this house now the first picture I showed you is where we purchased the house about five years ago. This is exactly what it looked like when we first bought it. And I um, purchased this house five years ago. It looked like the first picture. I'm going to show you a second picture. We did, when we purchased the house, we immediately came in and my son painted the walls and we changed the flooring because we had that ugly, ugly flooring in there. But we purchased this flooring from Lowe's. It was the stick-on tile that you grout it just like you do ceramic tile. Um, we've had this on the floors now for almost five years. It's held up very well. Um, the flooring in these two areas probably cost us under, or maybe a little bit more than $150, under $200 for sure. And um, my son painted the walls, and I'll show you this picture. He painted the walls a pale yellow, and of course y'all know that I love antiques. You can see a lot of antiques right there on the walls in that picture as well. But um, this time around I gave it a little bit more modern feel. I'm still trying to stick with that farmhouse country because as you can see from those pictures I added in new shelving. I purchased some of the stick-on wall paper that you can get from Lowe's. And then I just updated it. Uh, we did add in a shelf back there behind it to give me some more areas to put things. Um, right there you can see this right here. My husband made this years ago. And um, it works great for all my masks now that we have to wear masks every day. And I do work in, with the public, so I have to wear one every day. And of course, I added another shelf here. These shelves also came from Lowe's. The only thing that I'm not real happy about this room, I went and I painted over the yellow that my son had painted when we first moved in. I did give it an update and painted it all white. Um, but the only thing I'm not real happy with in this room is it's an eyesore right there, that hot water heater, but there's not a whole lot that I could do there. I just kind of had to work around what I had, but all in all, I'm very content with it. I'm very happy to make this area look a little bit larger. Um, over here on this side, I added a long mirror and it just gave it, it it's a great thing to have right there so that, you know, when you're going out the door, you can see what you look like. Um, but it also adds, um, it makes the room look a lot larger. So it gives a little bit more classier feel. So I added that in there. And this area here, there was just a lot of, when we purchased the house, there's a lot of old, old shelving. And that came down. So we added in these cabinets here. And um, my husband has claimed those for some storage. And then, of course, we added in a little small freezer, so that makes a nice little addition to this area. But all in all, I'm very happy. And then we did, we went in and we changed the light fixtures. Um, I tried to change a lot of the um, light switches, but I ran into a problem on this one because whoever built the house, oh goodness, um, those light switches were cut down, so I had to go with those for now, but I may later go in and swap them out. But um, this was my latest project. So, but like I said, here are some more pictures of it, as you can see. But I'm very, very happy with it. And uh, we did, we put up molding, we painted. 
the molding there and I went and stained it. Um, don't know if you watched the video where I did the project with the rocking chairs um, for my front porch, but that's just some leftover stain that I used for that one. And um, most of the other stuff I just picked up some little decor items. And some of this stuff I've actually picked up from the Dollar General. They had some cute little decor items. Um, and um, I think now that Faith right there, I think that actually came from Hobby Lobby. I do have some Lowe's things. But when I see things that kind of go with my theme, I just pick them up. A lot of times I can grab things on sale or clearance. And um, but now this is my completed project. So I hope you enjoy and will continue watching me. Um, I'm going to go and add to this clip a little bit more. The next few minutes I'm going to show you some ideas that I actually use for storage. Um, because I do a lot of crafting and I'm running out of space to put things. And my house isn't very, very large. So um, I did dedicate one room to crafting. And I'm going to give you all a sneak peek into that and show you some ideas on what I use for storage. So stay tuned.